What's up guys? All right, so today's video is gonna be just sort of a spur of the moment thing. I've got a two year old here. Uh, he's owned by our prospects, a partnership. And this is one of my favorite one we have in the barn this year. We've got a few other good ones and it's the time where the market really opens up for, uh, for our prospects from here until the end of December. This is really prime time to sell prospects at their highest value. It'll die down after Christmas because uh, people aren't shopping for prospects really at this time and it'll open up again when they become three year old and it's you're getting closer to the maturity somewhere around May and June. But uh, uh, so I really want to take full advantage of that uh, that market opening up for my prospects. And this is where I'm at last week and the week before I took the camera out. I filmed them. I want to see what they look like. I want to put myself on the spot. Very important to do that. If you want to make sell videos to where your horse will look its absolute best, I promise you that that the same as showing a horse when you put yourself on the spot that way and you turn on the camera you will lose 40 to 50 percent of you know of what you're used to having so this video if good enough will serve me to, to will serve me as a marketing tool right now but very important to put yourself on the spot <clears throat> often so that it becomes second nature and it becomes something you're more familiar with and then you don't have any surprises we had a photo shoot day the other day so we saddled them up cleaned them up made them look really good and just went out there and take some photos okay when you're running a business and you're running a horse business the more that you put yourself out there in in, in you know in, in presenting your your program your horses and everything in the best light possible this is what you communicate to the outside through your marketing that this is your those are your standards and this is what you're uh, you're presenting and and at the same time you put yourself on the spot where you you know you know exactly what you've got and what you're working with when you put yourself in that position in that situation so anyways this um you know i'm not going to be talking about too much about how i prepare or train the maneuvers for this video, but I will walk you through it as I do my video so that you can get sort of a behind the scene of how, uh, how I do this and, and how it's done. And hey, we may fail, we may not get it done, we may, he may not be feeling his best today, there may be other circumstances that come into play that, you know, that will force me to have to do it again, but this is why we're doing it today. But I feel good about it, the conditions are, are ideal, and so um, yeah, without any further blah blah, let's get to it. Okay, so uh, you know, uh, often the, the often the mistake that that I make or that I see uh, people make when trying to make a really good video is is that normally what you do to warm up your horse and 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 get it get him ready to to perform, let's say whatever maneuvers, whether it's circle, lead change, or or spin, or whatever you would do before. You, we seem to neglect to do these things and go kind of right to it as to where we never really do that in practice. So <laughs> I feel that that's something to keep, to take under consideration, okay? So try to ride your horse the same as you do every day and, and, and pretend the camera isn't there and do the same thing as you would do in order to obtain optimal maneuvers, okay? And if you only get one or two of the best stops he can do that day because you kind of have to work through you know, uh, through it, um, then just go with that. Don't try to get more today or overdo it, and 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 risk hurting uh, hurting your horse or or <clears throat> or, um, or or discouraging him. And just come back the next day and do the same process and get one or two more. Okay, there is nothing wrong with doing your video over the span of a uh, of a couple of days in order to be able to showcase uh, maximum ability of your horse it's absolutely normal these are two-year-olds and uh, and if anyone tells you different then they don't have the right idea about about doing this in, in a fair way and in a productive way all right so this is this is the part where I'm gonna try to maneuver for the video so camera recording skills optimal there we go good boy all right and action
I think I have enough of the slow lope where he looks nice, but I feel like I need to kind of bring him back to me a little bit more here before I push him into the fast circles. Exactly what I would do in training. And I want to make sure that he's connected with me as best as possible when I go fast to have a really good speed transition. All right, so he feels good. So let's make sure the camera's rolling. And let's go. Okay, so now I'm gonna let him air up for a minute. Then we're gonna do the lead changes. So I'll probably start with the right to left and then do the left to right. And after the left to right, if he feels good, usually after a lead change, you know, if the lead change was good and he's feeling connected with me, then I'll probably do half a circle or so slow lobe so that they can see, so that, so that people can watch him move on the right side, but then right away take him into the fast circles on the right side so that I have this, this nice flow going. All right, so keep it in mind, this is a two-year-old. When I change him lead, I still make sure that he is... Um, you know that he has the perfect forward motion that he's in the perfect position to change lead and I and and consequently for my video if I if the part where I change him lead he is really driving himself perfectly set up for a change and I ask him to change and that change just is looks effortless um, it's just gonna really tie in very pretty to the circle okay so <clears throat> so I I like to you know I put a lot of work into preparing the lead change so that my horses learn to change very nice clean without losing any forward motion whatsoever so here my game plan is to lope off on the opposite lead and put him in a <clears throat> put him in a set of circle here this feels good right here I like to change I like to change where I'm about here to where the camera sees sees the movement cleanly rather than changing here to where you couldn't really see the movement or at a, bad, at a bad angle. So my goal is to keep going until I can come through that middle really nice and clean to where I feel if I would ask him to change, it'll be effortless for him to do so. Good. I do want him straighter for my change, but I do need control of that right chin here, control of that right shoulder. So I'm going to prioritize that and make sure that he gives me that first. And then I'm going to come in a little bit more with my left hand, straighten him up a little bit. But for now, He's feeling ready, so next time around, make sure camera is rolling, and we're gonna, gonna ask him.
here, what I'm gonna do here soon as he locks in with me really where I want him, I'm gonna break him to walk, let him air up for a second, get a really good lead departure on that right side, like I said earlier, and then, and then do my fast circles. It's really warm today for uh, October, for a mid-October day. It's pretty humid, 91 degrees. So I don't know if I'll have enough horse to finish this to, to where it'll be exactly how I want it. But <clears throat> anyways, we're gonna do a right lead departure now on our right circles. And then if that goes well, then we'll be ready to get a, some turns and stops. good so I'm gonna go in the fast circles. All right, very happy with all that. And, and you know, and in closing for, you know, for like I keep saying, I feel it's getting tired and I gotta keep that under consideration and all of that stuff, because if he gets too tired, then the maneuvers are not gonna be good. But again, this colt has ridden, you know, very consistently, has been in a walker consistently. So um, I truly believe in fitness for horses. This is why that we spent all of those hot days of summer really just exercising the horse and developing them physically so that they are supple, flexible, we have control of the body and they are very fit. This way, when we put them on a the spot in situations where you need that extra gas, you know you have it. Okay, and I think that this is one of the main reasons why horses don't perform well, either at the show or during a video, or they, or they get hurt, is because they don't have the fitness that, um, that they need, and, and very, very important. But that's a topic for another video. So anyways, very happy with this set so far. We're gonna let them air up for about five, 10 minutes, and then we'll move on to the turns and stops. All right, so I think that he's aired up as much as, as we can, and so we're gonna move on and do the turnaround here. I may not have their body position and my hand at the place where I want to have it um, three, four weeks from now, but I got to do what I can to make sure that they, you know, do the maneuver as best as possible. So, so what I'm going to do here is try to straighten them up a little bit, the same as if I would do a lead departure, bring that rib cage in, make sure that he's giving to my inside hand and not sticking his rib cage out. There you go, following his nose through that little circle. That feels good and connected. So. Oh, wow, that was pretty cool. Definitely got some step, <clears throat> some pep in that step there. Again, not an ideal hand position for a video. I would like to have him a little looser and, and having him, you know, having to, to help him a little bit less in that turn, but <clears throat> very happy with the effort he put in there. So <clears throat> um, I'm gonna pick my battles here and, and go with it. Good, big effort there. So I gotta make sure that I don't try to overdo it and not try to make him turn faster than, 
you know, that he's comfortable and that he wants to do. Keep it very simple. Make sure that here he's... There we go, right there. When I put my outside leg on him here, he's sort of pushing his hip out rather than driving it under himself. So that's something I want to get after and get him upset with my leg here, but I do need him to channel that. There we go, right here. See, from that outside hind through the inside front so that he balances himself better in the turn. Oh. I will not have to do that again. This is exactly what you expect out of a two-year-old this time of year. This time I feel like I did have to support him with my hand and legs, but I didn't have to do, you know, I didn't barely had to use my leg on him, barely had to, to hold him, and he, he was the one doing, <clears throat> doing his job, so very happy with that. Feels like there's so much more under the hood there, which is great. Oh, very good. It's funny how I felt in mid-turn, just really switch from sticking that ribcage out, pushing my, on my leg to, to bringing that underneath himself. And, and then it felt great. So do I have a turn yet that I can use for, you know, a high caliber prospect video? Probably not quite because I'm interfering a lot into the, into the turn and all that. But, <clears throat> but am I like super tickled about how good I think this cold will turn uh, with a little more work, yeah. If you noticed, circles I like to film from a little bit higher up, so you have an angle down, it keeps the, it keeps the whole image a little bit brighter and it, it, it allows you to see better everything that goes on into that circle. For the turn though, I don't like that upward, that up to down angle for the spin. I don't think that it looks as good as when you have it about eye level. So I like bringing that camera down into the arena, raising it as high as it'll go and, uh, and filming the turn from there. Stops, it's a, you know, either way. I like to have it at eye level. I like to also have it a little bit higher. It helps to keep the image brighter. And so uh, that's why we have a platform there. But I think today, seeing, seeing I'm running out of horse and I think that, um, I think that we've got that camera set up high enough to where it'll look good. We're just gonna move that camera here to the middle of the pen and I'm gonna run him up and down on this side and uh, see how it goes. Oh. Well, this was pretty good for the first stop. Really happy with that. Good boy. Good boy. I feel I haven't told him good boy enough today talking to the camera and I like to praise them when they do well this way. Hopefully they feel good about themselves and want to do it some more. Oh. Nice. See, I stopped a little sooner here. He wasn't as fast as I would have liked to go, but again, him getting tired. I think I'm gonna put a counter of how many times I said him getting tired <laughs> today in that dang video. <laughs> Probably up at like 50 by now. <laughs> but you know, he's doing still so good despite being tired. This horse is just a little machine. All right, we're gonna do one more going up this way and call this a day. I need to make sure that I send him down there, but I gotta keep in mind that he's getting tired. <laughs> oh, there it is. Finish it up with a nice backup. Good boy, good boy. Good boy. Oh, what a good video. What a good test. When you get to where you just don't really want to sell them anymore, is you know you are exactly where you want to be. 
All right, well, I am so thrilled with how he did today. This was a great test, and I definitely have some really good content to, you know, to market him. When you get to the point where um, you don't really want to sell your horse anymore when you film it uh, or your prospect, then you know that you got him where you want him to be. And so um, this is an amazing little horse, and, and, and it's just really um, rewarding with all of the work you put in and and knowing that you you know I haven't ran him down and stopped this horse the entire summer I think the first time I did it was less than four weeks ago uh, he's just really confident running down really confident stopping so I don't do it that often I maintain I keep that confidence and I feel like now with the cooling temperatures and um, and the month of November December prime market ha uh, coming up uh, I feel like I'll have him in his prime exactly where I want him to be so um, I cannot be more thrilled. I hope that you found this video uh, valuable. If you did, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please do so. And yeah, until the next one. Cheers.